There has been quite a bit of uncertainty in everyone's lives over the past few weeks. One thing we all know though, is that our world moving forward will certainly be different. Is this a power grab? Are they taking more of our rights away? Or is it the opposite? Are they keeping us in our homes so they can lock up all of these evil people? I mean, who knows? All I have to say is, whatever you guys do, think positive for the next few days, few weeks. Think of how much better your life is going to get at this point moving forward. Uh, one thing I need to aware you guys of is all of this disinfo that's going on right now on social media, you know, especially Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, uh, even in the modern media on TV, a lot of these agents of these secret societies are still trying to spread you know, false information, keep their agenda going, keep people in panic. Be very careful of who you watch these next few days or next few weeks. And, and there's also gonna be an internet blackout, uh, I think within a week or two. So the internet's gonna be down for, you know, I mean, 10, 15 days, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, so you're not gonna be able to watch these people anyway. So definitely download some videos, buy some books, get prepared for two weeks without an internet. And uh, Frankie Boy is looking forward to his little YouTube vacation. You know, I've, I haven't had a break. I mean, it would be nice if I was on spring break or something and actually enjoying the two weeks as opposed to cooped up in this nonsense. But keep those two things in mind, guys. The disinformation that is being spread by these people, you know, just like the carnivores and the vegans are spreading their false agenda, these people are doing the same thing with social media pertaining to the Toyota Corolla, everything that's going on right now. And the internet will be blacked out. That is what I've heard. So again, be prepared, you know, to have no internet for, you know, two, three weeks. And, you know, someone like myself, I spend a lot of my time online. So you know, it's going to be a nice break. Hopefully I'll, you know, have some time to read some books, go hiking, maybe record some videos ahead of time. Maybe I won't. Uh, maybe I'll just take a well-deserved rest and Frankie Boy will be brand spanking new when we're back. Uh, that's supposed to happen uh, April 1st, you know, early April, so relatively soon. Uh, but guys, remain positive, uh, stay forward thinking. Uh, we're gonna go around to some supermarkets. I think we're gonna go to Whole Foods, see what's on the shelf, pick some stuff up, and uh, maybe we'll meet another cute girl driving an expensive Audi. <laughs> Frankie boy can only dream. Whether this Toyota Corolla nonsense is true or not, it certainly gives me an opportunity to dress up as an anime character. And although I'm not into that stuff, I'm sure some of you fairy boys are excited about Frankie Boy being dressed up as some type of ninja. But it looks like there's a line or something over here. I don't know what's going on. People are standing like 10 feet away from each other. What's the deal? We have to stand five feet away from each other? That's pretty much what's going on. They're not letting people in the store? Or? One at a time. One at a time? We are practicing social distancing. <laughs> I should have brought my tape measure. Then again, a ninja would be able to tell how far away people are with his superior depth perception. Yeah, I don't know what's, I don't know what they're doing inside. I guess they're making sure people don't get too close to each other. That's actually my gym uh, right across from here that they closed down a few weeks ago. I mean, I built my own gym home, so probably not gonna even go there anymore. But they're definitely losing a lot of money on that facility. They built it, you know, their membership base wasn't too high and now this stuff hits, so not good for business. Whole Foods is doing all right though. Jeff Bezos is doing all right though. Half of America's lost their job and Amazon and Walmart are still hiring, so go figure. The slaves can get the jobs at Amazon if they want to. I'm, I'm recording my last few days of life. Are you actually? <laughs> <laughs> he, he couldn't tell I was smiling under this, so he, he might think I'm joking. I need to build like a, a bubble around myself. So don't worry, Fury Boys, even in a time of crisis, you will be able to safely get your bananas and pineapples for all of your bedroom food pleasures. You know, I would imagine they're even having a hard time moving a lot of this stuff because, you know, people are afraid to go out and buy stuff. See, organic pineapples, two for six dollars. Great deal. Organic bananas. You know, let me get some of these for my uh, family. Always go organic on the produce, it removes the agrochemical concerns. Oh, that, that guy looked at me from across the store. Am I gonna get the Toyota Corolla? All this stuff was completely sold out the other day. Everyone bought all the onions, the potatoes, all that stuff. Looks like it's back. Most of the produce is back on the shelves. You know, plenty of cheese, plenty of raw cheese. People are still avoiding cheese, I guess. You cannot 
around Oh, sure, okay. Yeah, sure. Captain Douche behind the cheese counter told me to stop filming and there's like security guys walking around and a lot of staff so I probably can't really uh, do this and I might even get thrown out if I keep messing around. All of the uh, prepared foods are gone, I guess. A lot of the non-perishable stuff is gone, the uh, smoked cured fish. You know, a lot of the meat is still gone. You know, most of the chicken and pork, limited amount of red meat. A lot of the fish is gone too, so you know, people definitely getting carnivorous in these times. A lot of the water is still missing. A lot of the non-perishable drinks and stuff, and they still didn't restock them. Probably because you know, they don't usually sell a lot of this stuff, but you know, people just bought it all out and the demand was too high for the other stores. A lot of the drinks are gone, people stocked up on everything. A lot of the uh... Man, what a clown party pooper. So, you know, when I walked in there with the camera, the guy was like, oh, please put it away. The guy literally followed me around the store for like five minutes waiting for me to pull it out again. He's like, okay, I'm gonna have to ask you. He's like, all right, I'll leave. I'm not spending $15 a pound on your, your crappy roast beef. Uh, but you know, Whole Foods does have a policy where you're not supposed to film in the store. Um, you know, I was using my phone last time I was in here. So, I mean, I mean, camera versus phone, is that really gonna make a difference? I mean, I'm sure if that guy saw me with my phone, you know, holding it like that, he would have said the same thing. Uh, but you know, we showed you guys that most of the meat was still missing. Uh, that's pretty surprising. Like a large majority of, you know, the chicken, the turkey, the pork, uh, even a lot of the red meat, even the fish was completely sold out still. Uh, they did like a halfway job of restocking a lot of the grain based stuff, some of the water bottles, but really, you know, most of the food is still missing. I would say they're at like 20 to 30 percent capacity of what they could be stocking. Uh, obviously, the pasta, the non perishable stuff, you know, all of those bins that Whole Foods usually has stuff in, where like you go and get whatever you want, it was mostly empty. Uh, you know, the whole inside of the store, it's like again like a bunch of workers a bunch of security people pretty much people staring at you wherever you go the shoppers didn't seem to care too much i mean some people were wearing masks you know some people weren't some people were walking up right next to me they're like they don't really care and uh you know one guy was blasting his brain with the airpods so uh, i did feel a little bit funny in there i would uh i would be curious to test test the wi-fi levels i wanted to go to a few more supermarkets but i have a feeling we're gonna see the same thing you know people are still buying food stocking up stuff and i think for the next two three four weeks we're gonna see this madness uh definitely no toilet paper definitely no paper towels uh but if you go in there and you look around on the shelves you're like oh well all the produce is there you know they put stuff in the front of the shelf but reality is you know there's a definite food shortage and uh you know when when these managers and these suppliers and these stockers were calling up you know wherever they get the food from to restock their whole food stores it, it's very clear that uh, you know they have a higher capacity to, to have more food that being said i'm sure everyone in the supply chain is doing uh, as much of a job as possible but hopefully this gives people a reality check that they need to start growing their own food supporting local farmers uh you know when you go to the supermarket and your dollar isn't worth anything because there's no food on the shelves what are you going to do i'm a little salty now i'm a little salty that that guy was bothering me because now, now I might start talking crap about Whole Foods. I might say, oh, well, you should never go to Whole Foods again. You know, you should never buy your stuff from Whole Foods because they're a bunch of clowns. Uh, but, you know, the first few times I was in here, they didn't bother me when I was filming on the, on the cell phone. Uh, so maybe maybe a Whole Foods rep can reach out to me and maybe I can be their spokesperson. Or maybe I can, I, I can, I can turn it, hey, Frankie Boy can play both sides. Frankie Boy could say, oh, well, you know, organic stuff is great. You could buy these plants. And then I could start talking crap about it too, so. Uh, that being said, they do have, you know, better stuff than most grocery stores around here and you can get some decent quality nutrition, but I mean, I don't think the guy was even a manager or something, probably just on a power trip, uh, but really who cares? I already have, you know, three, four YouTube videos on my channel filming there, so what's, what's the difference? But uh, now's not the time, so let's see if we have some other stuff to do. What are these cars called? Is this the, uh, the first victim in my town? getting driven around in an Escalade. So there's a new development. One of my mom's friends allegedly has the Toyota Corolla. So I'm gonna go to her street and measure the Wi-Fi levels and we might get an answer, but who knows because they can turn the levels on and off. But I'm assuming if this was a Wi-Fi related issue that when we go there, we're gonna measure something irregular. So it's a little too dark for you guys to see me out here, but 
I don't think there is any Wi-Fi or anything. And as I said in the past, I think I think the Toyota Corolla is a real issue. And it is suspicious that they're putting up all these Wi-Fi towers at the same time. But I can't 100% say that they're ready to blast us yet. What I will say is my meter is picking up a signal. See, it's, it's blasting every like five or 10 seconds. It's good now, but see it blasts? So there's a signal coming from somewhere over here. So there's a Wi-Fi signal on that end of the street. There doesn't appear to be anything over here. Oh, I just got a pulse. So I don't think they've had the G set up in my neighborhood yet or that they're blasting anyone yet, but there's certainly cause for concern about Wi-Fi levels in general in your home and, and what they're setting up now. So we're gonna, we're gonna take another drive down my street and see what's going on. So just driving through the neighborhood, there are some pretty high frequencies in some parts. So I'm assuming if we get out of our car and look over there, there might have been a power line or something over there. You know, so depending on where your house is located, you know, you might be a lot more susceptible to this stuff. You know, but, but these levels over here aren't really as high as New York City, but it's still alarming that even just driving around in your neighborhood now, the Wi-Fi levels are, you know, off the charts red. I think I see something on that line. Could be that power line. I'm gonna stop here and see why these levels are so high. So we're, we have extreme levels of radiation. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, I think it is by this power line. It's pulsing though, it's not consistently super high, but it is. It is pulsing right now really high. So these are you know, levels you don't want to be around for short periods of time, let alone live near. Yeah, this power line, there's something. Yeah, there's something on this power line that's uh, emitting very high frequencies at a dangerous level. I don't know, you know how far this goes I would say it's at least a few hundred feet. And those houses up here on the balcony are definitely at risk. I wonder how I would reach out to those people and see what's going on. So low for a little while, but then we're going back to red, down to green. And this is why I tell people, you know, to really know if you're safe, you have to get a meter. You don't know what signals are coming off of what types of devices near your home. You don't know if you're, you don't know if you're right next to a newly installed Wi-Fi line. You don't know what's going on. Although this is nowhere near New York City, you know I'm still getting some pulsing. You know outside, it's going to moderate. You know once every few seconds, and it's even pulsing on high. You know every 30 to 40 seconds. So, you know even if there's no cell tower or something installed directly near your house, you know there's a high likelihood that you know, your neighbor has a smart meter. There's too many Wi-Fi devices that can be causing uh, these harmful levels of radiation. So, you know, if you want to get a meter, this is the most affordable one I know of, a uh, safe and sound classic EMF meter. You know, hopefully I can, you know, sell these in the future, at least uh, get them to you guys more affordably. Uh, so, you know, as much as I'm saying be positive that, you know, these evil people might not be here for too much longer, uh, they're still enacting the agenda in some way with this Wi-Fi stuff. So make yourself aware of it know how to protect yourself from it and uh, hopefully moving forward you know two three four months from now we won't have to worry about this stuff so thank you guys for joining me uh, if you'd like to support frankie's free range meat uh, definitely get your order in this week uh, before we have a potential blackout so we're going to try to restock some stuff uh, by tomorrow and thursday and friday and then we're going to try to ship everything out monday and tuesday of next week uh, because if the internet does go down we won't be able to, to send you guys stuff uh, unfortunately, you can go to organsupplements.com if you guys don't have access to grass-fed beef organs, Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, and definitely check out frank-stefano.com for my book. Maybe get it so you have something to read in this downtime. Thanks for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night.